Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are given that the ball D has a mass of 20 kg, right? So this means that the weight of this ball is equal to 20 times 9.81 and this is equal to 196.2 newtons, right? And it is said that if a force F equals to 100 newtons, so this force F is equal to 100 newtons is applied horizontally to the ring at A, it is said that determine the dimension D so that the force in cable AC is zero, right? So we have to find this dimension D, right? So that the force in this AC cable is zero, right? So if, if I represent the forces in both of these cables, right? So here we will have a tension in this AB cable, right? Let's say that this is a B force and there will be tension in this A C cable, right? So let's say that we have both of these forces, right? So if I write that this is A B cable force and this is A C, so in the given statement it is said that find the dimension D so that the force in cable A C is zero, right? So we can write that A C force equals to zero. So if A C force equals to zero, so this means that we can say that this AC cable does not exist. We can assume that this AC cable is not there, right? So if this AC cable is not there, so we can uh, we can remove this, right? We can say that it is no more here. So I will remove this AC cable, right? This is there is no need of this if the force in this AC cable is zero, right? In our calculation, right? Still it is there, but we can assume that AC cable is not here, right? So now if we apply the equilibrium conditions, that is the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and the summation of forces along y equals to 0, so that will give us that d dimension in order to have the, a, the force in AC cable equals to 0, right? So if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so then this AB is making some angle theta here with the horizontal, right? So this AB will have one component in this direction, right? It will have one component like this and it will have one component which will be acting vertically upward, right? So this one will be the cos component. We can write that this one is AB cos of theta and this one is AB sin of theta, right? So now if we apply the summation of forces along x and if this is our positive direction, right? this is our positive x and positive y direction. So if we apply this condition, so then as we can see that this 100 Newton force is acting in the positive direction. So I will write plus 100 then minus this AB cos of theta which is uh, AB cos of theta. AB is not known and this theta is not known, right? So we can write that this will be equal to 0 or from this equation we can say that a b cos of theta equals to 100 right similarly if this is our positive direction in the y direction in the vertical direction so we can say that this a b sin theta is acting in the positive direction so i will write a b sin of theta minus this weight the if we if we represent the weight as a vector as an arrow so the weight will be acting downward here right so, so then we can say that this is AB sine of theta minus W and W is 196.2. So I will write 196.2 and this will be equal to 0. From this we can say that AB sine of theta equals to 196.2. Let's say that this is equation 1 and let's say this is equation 2. Now if we divide equation 1 by 2, so then we can write that a b sine of theta divided by a b cos of theta is equal to 196.2 divided by 100 right and this a b will cancel out and sine sine of theta divided by cos of theta this is tan theta equals to 196.2 or 196.2 divided by 100 will be 1.962 right and now if we consider if we consider this triangle right if if i consider this triangle right so if this is theta so then we can write that tan theta for this triangle will be 
this perpendicular so the perpendicular is d plus 1.5 right so i will write d plus 1.5 meters divided by this base which is 2 meter this is given right so i can write that this is 2 meters so now as we can see that 10 theta equals to 1.962 and from here from the dimensions given we can say that 10 theta is d plus 1.5 divided by 2 so we can we can equate both of these right so i can write that this d plus 1.5 divided by 2 is also equal to 1.962 from this equation right so we can write that d equals to 2 into 1.962 minus 1.5 from this equation right so from this d equals to 2.424 meters so this means that if if this hook is at a distance of 2.424 meters so then the force in this ac cable will be equal to zero right so this is the required solution of this particular problem